hello everyone welcome to quick code academy today in this video i'm going to uh, tell you how we can uh, customize the css of angular material button so for that uh, you should uh, go to uh, angular material uh, official website so you just need to type angular material and you would see first link that on that you need to click so here uh, there is one change so i am using currently angular 17 project so and i am going to show this example specifically for uh, latest version of angular material so in this case it is angular 17.1.2 uh, and lot of uh, people are facing uh, challenges while customizing the angular mat material component okay so uh, if the angular material is not installed in your machine make sure that you should be installing that in your project so you can uh, go through this document uh, and this co copy this uh, command and go to your uh, project directory and you can run this command and add and g add add the red angular material and this will add the angular material uh, for you and you you should be able to uh, use the components okay for uh, in this video i'm going to show example of angular material button so uh, you can copy this uh, import statement and you can paste it in your uh, relative um, component.ts file so now uh, if you can if you notice earlier we used to uh, add it inside the our modules like app.module.ts but since angular 17 supports standalone uh, components so we can directly add it in our component so here i am importing that and then this thing i am importing in the import sections okay and now uh, we are good to use the angular material button so uh, from here i have taken the mat raised buttons so which looks uh, something like this uh, this this too i have taken uh, for our uh, example okay so now in this video i will show you how we can customize uh, these two uh, buttons so if you go to my uh, html file then you would notice these two buttons and let me show you the UI how it looks so uh, both both the things look something like uh, this okay so now uh, let's change uh, let's say uh, you want to change the color of this uh, mad button so what you can do so you need to first uh, open your uh, console so how you can do that you need to click on inspect and then here you will get the uh, element section so from here there is one symbol as cursor so you need to click on that and you need to uh, select the button uh, for which you need to uh, change the style okay so once you uh, go th uh, go to the elements tab so whenever you will uh, click on something it will highlight that particular section okay and all the classes related to those things will be uh, visible in this right hand side extreme right hand side okay so now you can see a format uh, raised button the background color is this okay the color is this so if you can tweak this now you can see uh, suddenly the color has uh, disappeared okay so now uh, let's say i want to change the uh, color of this primary button so here uh, from here i can take the mat hyphen mdc raised button okay and what you can do so you can copy paste it over here and since it is a class you can mention uh, something like this and you will change the uh, background color okay so i have one uh, background color in my mind so which can be used so i have uh, i have added it over here so i'm going to use it over here and i will just mention important okay so now you will see it won't uh, get a p okay so now you can see it is automatically uh, it has changed the uh, color but it has changed uh, color for uh, both the buttons right and if you remove this important as well it won't i think it won't uh, affect okay so uh, you need to always have the important over here but uh, there are two things uh, uh, you need to pay attention so this is the mat raise button but if you see in earlier versions the class used to be mat raised button okay but now uh, you can see in their classes they have uh, added dot mad hyphen mdc and uh, hyphen raised and button so this mdc new keyword they have added in their classes so that that is why a lot of people are facing the issues uh, because their uh, component style is not getting changed so now it is affecting both the things okay 
so we need to apply specific tile uh, style to the uh, specific uh, button based on the uh, this color okay so what we can do so instead of uh, just adding this matte raised button and adding this just uh, this class we can add the this class as well this matte primary okay so here also if you go to the right hand side you will get this dot uh, mat hyphen mdc and dot mat uh, primary so as soon as we add that so you will notice now it this style will be applicable only for the button which has which is primary okay so in similar way you can change the uh, style for the accent as well so here you will go over here and then uh you can click on the button you can go to right hand side and here you can copy this class and let's say uh, you you don't want pink color for this so you will uh, give background color as red okay Okay. and some uh, for some of the people uh, it might require to add ng div but, but uh, it is not recommended practice so instead of that what you can do so you can copy this entire styling and you can put it in your style.scss okay so in that way this styles will be applicable across your application so whenever you will add this primary or accent button you don't have to add this styling for individual level so that is what i wanted to uh, tell you in this video thank you for watching this video make sure to subscribe to my channel